So you literally got this man. I think his name is Charles or something like that. Just a video I came across. And uh, you got um, Black China and Rob Kardashian's daughter. Right here. This man named Charles and this little girl named Dream. This little girl is born into Hollywood. Black China is our mother. Rob Kardashian is our father. And we all know about the Kardashian curse and how uh, Kim is looked at as the great harlot from the Bible. Your dead husband is my son. And the baby you carried is the product of his sperm and my egg. He's three quarters me. I mean, we used to have to use magic to make our creatures. The IVF produces miracles these days. You're a monster. Oh, no, babe. I'm so much worse. Somebody's awake. Please, can I hold him? Absolutely. But if you hold him, you join us. And if you don't want to, that's OK. You'll just end up like your friend Preach. I mean, either way, you'll always have him. At least you one of them. Amber Rose is another. And uh, I have nothing against them. You know, I got love for everybody. I got love for hoes, too. You know, they got a place in the world as well. But you are who you are in this world. The great words of Denzel Washington. You got to be who you are in this world. Hey, Jake. What a fucking night. Yeah, it's tough out there, honey. Here you go, kid. You ever catch it? Hmm? Fish. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, you did. It's a happy ending. Well, not exactly. Old man tied the fish to the side of the boat, had to row back to shore. Fish bled in the water. Sharks came and ate the whole fish till there was nothing left. Well, that's just kind of a waste, isn't it? No, depends upon how you look at it. The old man met his greatest adversary just when he thought that part of his life was over. He saw himself in the fish. Came to, came to respect it the more it fought. Why didn't he just let the fish go? The old man's gotta be the old man. Fish gotta be the fish. Gotta be who you are in this world, right? No matter what. The great words of Denzel Washington and the first equalizer. <laughs> if you feel me. So long story short, he teaching this little girl how to Illuminati dance. Told you about how the world is based off gangs and mafias. Mafia monopolies. How police or gangs, agencies, political sides, red and blue, etc., etc. There's no exception to the Illuminati. You got the you got the sea walk, the crib walk, and what this man doing right here is the Illuminati walk. I guess he's throwing up all the Illuminati signs and he's teaching this little girl how to do it. Right in front of us. It's, I mean, ain't no hide, no exposing the Illuminati anymore because everybody know about it. But it's just, uh, we're just not going to stop. You know, we're going to fill you in on the details and, you know, make you aware of the news of just how they move and who to look out for because there's a super, 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 super small minority of people in Hollywood who are not in the Illuminati yet. And they are either be in the Illuminati later or leave early. Or some people who actually infiltrate the Illuminati. And I always bring this up, like Tupac Shakur. Uh, Prodigy, 
as a person that was against the Illuminati and, and the old Dirty Bass, a lot of old school rappers, though. You don't really see too many new school rappers that's, you know, exposing the Illuminati or going, to, the, going against the Illuminati, let alone infiltrating the Illuminati. You, you rarely don't ever see that because back in the days, these rappers was doing the infiltrating thing and trying to uh, slow down or damage or destroy the Illuminati from the inside out. But now you might see a conscious rapper, you know, who rapper just straight up about the Illuminati, dissing the Illuminati, whatever the case may be. But the Illuminati really ain't worried about them people, really ain't worried about nobody. The new world order been here. It's just evolving, you know. Uh, yeah, so. Big baby. <laughs> Let's take a, we have a phone call I designed right it myself. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, what's your name? Hi, this is Audrey. Audrey, where are you calling from? Um, from Indianapolis. From Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. What's your question? My question is for everyone on the panel. Yeah. First, I just want to say hi to everybody. They said what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Go My ahead, Audrey. My question is, do you sometimes feel that you can't always say what you want to say, that you have to be censored? Is that a problem for anybody? <laughs> Cannabis, what do you and think about that? You can't express yourself to your fullest, because we're all really interested in what you guys have to say, and we want you to be as true as possible. And Cannabis, that's a part of making a record, because when you go into the studio, I mean, you can write your lyrics, you can say what you want to say, you may have to put a sticker on the CD, but ultimately your fans are going to hear what's really, really on your mind, which is a little bit different than making a movie. Talk right. about that. I mean, you got to say what you feel. You got to say what's on your mind, and that's, that's kind of like the gift that we got as artists and, and the blessing that we got to get record deals and to get signed and to have a company back you up with all this money to put you on the shelf, you know, in all the major stores across the country, you know. So you got to say what you feel. You know, you, you got to just, I mean, after censorship, you just got to say what you feel. <clears throat> that's good. And that's probably the importance of having pe people around you that uh, can support that. We have another call. Hello? Yes. Hold on, hey, man. I got to say wait, something Wait, hold on. About that. Go, Jesus. Um, since y'all was talking about saying what fear, take all this out of my mouth for a second. <laughs> that just pops right out? Yeah, it pops right out. Let me let y'all know how I feel. To me, it's like everybody's scared of the government, you know what right. I'm saying? Because they killed Tupac and they killed Biggie Smalls. I don't care what y'all say. That's my sin. Who cares? <laughs> um, I'm just letting y'all know, y'all could be afraid of the government all y'all want to. Y'all been afraid of the government for 29 years. Y'all ain't telling me I was Jesus, so it's okay. I love you. Don't, <laughs> don't, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting y'all know, all that afraid of the government stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's dead in my, in my life, man, because I, I got, I got, I got special things to put on people. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, um, but don't get me wrong, I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be real, be real, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Don't, don't, get, don't, 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 don't play no games. This ain't no games no more, all right? If you're going to be real, be real. Keep it real. When you see my next album, God Made Dirt, and Dirt Don't Hurt Baby Jesus, then you're going to see when, 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 what's really real and what's going to happen. All right. On that note, uh, we're going to take just a short break. We'll be right back. With more of our full work artists in the sound check. What's the special cut on the album? What's the special cut? You got two. Oh, yeah, you got two special cuts on the album. You got uh, uh, 27 cuts. What's the special cut on the album? CIA killed me. Special cut on the album. What's the special cut? You got two. Oh, yeah, you got two special cuts on the album. You got uh, uh, 27 cuts. What's the special cut on the album? CIA killed me. Special cut. When they get that money from them samples that we gave them, they try to fund their new career and who the first people they check, the rappers. Right? They want to check the rap. We want you to rhyme on our Mafia new song. Always with you. Cut, you had to pay a lot? Yeah, you yeah, always yeah, got to pay, pay a pay lot, lot, man. Yeah. It's extortion at its highest rate, man. We getting extorted like bitches, like prostitutes. It's yeah. bad enough our label takes so much. You know, the, 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 the record company makes so much goddamn money off a platinum album, which mm -hmm. we don't even see half of that shit. You know? I thought you had so much more control out of Having your own management. You don't have control when no, you got control. Of, yeah, you got when you when you got your own management. What's that? You doing shows mm -hmm. and shit like that? Yeah, you got control of that, and that's your best money right there. You gotta have control I of that. that I say but when up. you would, like I said, when you inside and you and you know that you signed your name on a contract, how the hell are you gonna be in control of something? with your name on a piece of paper saying that we own this, we own that, we own that, we own that. You know what I mean? What you do is you build yourself up to the point where you're, where you're a million dollar man and nobody can deny that, then you trade. You do trading. It's like, hey, I'm a million dollar cat. 
Mm-hmm. Give me two million, I'll bring you three million dollars worth of acts. You know what I'm saying? All this rap music, man, it's just rap music, man. I ain't really tied up into the rap music. I'm t- I got m- more better things to talk about. He's an entertainer, you know, Dirty. He don't, he don't just limit himself to rhyming, man. He can do it all, baby. Sing. Oh, you got to see his stage performance, you know? Oh, really? Something to behold. It's like he uplift the whole clan at times, you know? Can you dig it? I love that shit. He did that shit that night. <laughs> hey, y'all, you're incredible, man. In what way it is? And as we get older, it's like our young, our black sisters get a better chance than we do. And my people, because they're so threatened by us, man. I'm not crazy at all, okay? Nobody Everybody knows. always saying that dirty is crazy. Dirty is not crazy at all. Dirty just see, foresee a lot that a lot of people don't foresee. It's like that's why we'll throw little things out there like that just to see if they catch on to it and how many people catch on to it so people can see it. But it's like sometimes I start to think like the hip hop audience ain't that intelligent sometimes, you know, where they don't pick up on it because they let the the corniest shit get the most airplay. You know what I mean? The 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 most unconscious shit get the most airplay. It's like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? It's the government. Yeah, and then run up on me talking about keep it real. Don't run up on me say keep it real if you ain't supporting the real. It's the you know what I'm saying? Bottom line. The government brainwash our people with the mind control theory. That's what they do. So they make sure people like it. They keep playing that same song. The same song keep playing, you, you start to like it. You start you to get probed with it. You start to get cloned with it. So then for the clone exists, then it just takes over. It takes over the human body. It takes over the spirit. It takes over the soul. And therefore, behold, that's what you got. We're going to start pointing the finger anyway at all the fake hip-hop shit. Or, when we say the fake hip-hop shit, we're talking about the government. Listen, I love the government, man. CIA, FBI, I love y'all niggas. Don't come knocking on my fucking door. I love them too. They all my children. Keep us safe. Okay, USA. Teaching this little girl how to Illuminati dance, man. And I just wanted to make this video just to put it out there. You know, I ain't got to make this video too long. It's just, man, mind-boggling, man. Like, this shit is really going on, so it is what it is. Be aware. To be aware is to be alive. FB Little Film. Checking in this morning with y'all. Give me y'all a video to look at. Give y'all a heads up. Illuminati at work. And they out here representing. So we do. We need to as well. Peace.